Greetings, diners, and welcome once again to another Sunday brunch edition of the Collapse Cafe here on the Doomstead Diner. And before we get into uh, what's going on in the world today, uh, let's go over what we're doing for brunch, okay? Uh, we have another one of our loaded Bloody Marys with the orange-topped egg. You know who that is, right? <laughs> uh, and once again, Dimitri's Bloody Mary seasoning. Thank you for sponsoring us. Okay. And I'm only loaded with one skewer today because I put together a fairly eclectic brunch for myself. For today, uh, you can look. I'm not going to try to pick it up and make it show it at the camera because uh, shit will fall off. <laughs> uh, uh, but you can see the picture because I shot a picture of it first, and some things I can hold up. Okay, uh, we're having a banana. This is a very healthy meal. Okay, and we're having coconut shrimp. Okay, and we're having orange, an orange, okay, mandarin, very nice, and anchovy cap tomatoes, all right, I love tomatoes with anchovies, that is a fantastic combination, uh, and then I have a leftover sausage here from a prior breakfast that I did not make it through. So it is going to get consumed today, maybe, hopefully. Otherwise, it's going to have to go in the garbage. And then I have a couple of deviled eggs with capers. Okay. Uh, and then an assortment of vitamins to take. So that's, uh, hopefully, I don't end up with uh, acute anemia again, which was not good. All right, all right. Uh, so that's the breakfast, and uh, we're moving along here on the impeachment deal. Uh, the Russians, uh, the Russian premier Medvedev, he resigned, uh, and uh, Putin is probably maneuvering to continue on as the. Uh, head honcho of Mother Russia for uh, after 2024 when his term is supposed to be up. Okay? And uh, we'll see how that plays out. But uh, the politics there are not doing a whole heck of a lot better than the politics here or the politics in Britain or anywhere else. Alright? The whole fucking world of politics is fucked up. Uh, and there's just no other way to put it. Ah, that's good. Uh, but I really don't want to talk about politics today. Alright? Nor do I want to talk about climate change. Nor do I want to talk about extinction. Or any of those other collapsed subjects that you visit the diner to hear about all the time, all right? Either on our blog or on our forum or our YouTube channel or our Facebook, or Facepalm as I like to refer to it, channel. Uh, we put material out there all the time, okay, on these subjects. And, uh, you know, if you haven't read it by now, and you aren't aware of what's going on, then you are among the people who are deceived and ignorant. I'm sorry. I can't put it any other way. Well, I could put it a lot worse, but I'll stick with that. All right? Uh, no, today is January 15th. Which means 
It is less than one month away from February 12th. Why is February 12th significant? Well, it's not because it's Lincoln's birthday, okay? Uh, and it's not because it's also my mother's birthday. All right? God rest her soul, she's dead. Uh, no, February 12th, this year, 2020, marks the 8th anniversary of the Doomstead Diner. And that is cause for celebration in many respects. So I'm going to have a drink. Cheers. First of all, I didn't think I'd make it to 2020. And how much longer I will make it remains an open question. And currently, as regular readers of the diner know, I am undertaking a massive, massive lawsuit against the medical industry and the criminal racket of doctors and insurance companies and pharmaceutical companies and all the rest. And it's a big project and it's going to take years if I live that long. All right. I can't tell you much more about it right now. I have to keep a lot of this stuff under my belt. Uh, but uh, believe you me, I know the law and I know medicine. I taught the MCAT, Medical College Admissions Test, and the LSAT, the Law School Admissions Test, for the Princeton Review. I taught many doctors and many lawyers how to score well to get into medical school or law school. So I did not go myself to med school or law school. I chose to pursue different paths in life. And you can read all about that on the diner also. Uh, maybe ferret out some of the reasons for it which other people try to do and they come up with all sorts of explanations which fit their own world models but are generally not correct uh all right so uh we're going to have the eighth anniversary for the diner on february 12th or that whole week actually will be an anniversary week and i invite any of our readers, lurkers, our regular diners who contribute to the forum, our contributing authors who we publish on the blog, I invite any of you and all of you, if you want to, to join me in a conversation about the diner and about doom and the collapse of industrial civilization. Uh, we will do it. I will do it individually, not as a group as I have done in the past, with anyone who wants to. And you can Skype me, or I will Skype you. Uh, you can contact me on the Doomstead Diner. If you go to the blog, there's a contact page. You go there, it's RE, you say, RE, I'd like to talk to you, and let's talk about what's coming down the pipe here, and I'll schedule it, and we'll talk, okay? All right, uh, I hope uh, I see uh, a few of you, at least, uh, for this. If not, so be it. Uh, the diner is also taking subscriptions now all right so if you have enjoyed the diner over these eight years then a subscription to the diner for whatever you feel you can afford five dollars a month a dollar a month whatever uh, is welcome and will help me 
pay the bills because I pay the bills all right and uh, and I've, I've been carrying the freight here on this for eight years uh, we don't take ads there are no ads on the diner I don't uh, often make these pitches for money but I'm making one today <laughs> so I hope that you find the diner valuable enough to give us a little help, okay? Uh, it doesn't have to be a lot. Uh, you know, a very little bit will help. And finally, to finish off today's diatribe, uh, you might wonder what a dedicated doom professional like myself <laughs> does with his spare time <laughs> while well, you're looking at it right over there okay that is a game an online game called Vikings War of Clans and I joined this online game about four months ago now and I spend a good deal of time on it not as much time as I spend on the diner but a lot all right, and it's a very interesting game, and I'm going to be writing on it. It's a game of mathematics, all right, and resource, resources, and a lot of the things we concern ourselves with in the Doom community. Uh, and it's very educational, uh, and uh, I urge people to, to look at it. I have given it a nickname for the diner. I call it Doomer. Or, or Doomer's War of Collapse Nicks, or something like that, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Diners, War of Doomers, that's what I, I named it. Uh, and, you know, I can make all the analogies. I, I can go through it all. Uh, but like I said, it's a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, if you're unemployed or <laughs> underemployed or just plain fucking bored, Give it a try, okay? And if you do try, I run on the on this by the name RE666. <laughs> I am in the uh, Untergrad Kingdom, and I am a member of the MNNT clan. So you can look for me and see if you can find my town and all the rest of that. And if you do, send me a message on Vikings, okay? Uh, we can talk there. I mostly have to talk to Russians there. <laughs> and I, I can't speak Russian. <laughs> so, it's, it's pretty difficult to communicate. Because it, it most, it was a, uh, the game was, I think, put together by Rusky developers. And so, it's, like 95 to 99 percent Russians and Lithuanians and you know uh, Kazakhstanians and uh, the stands are all well represented <laughs> so uh, uh, there are there may are or may be some English speaking clans but I have all right so like I said I hope to see you and talk to you and I will be back for sure in February and maybe we'll have other diners contributors uh, publishing between now and then I don't know uh, I haven't really looked in my uh, catch yet to see uh, but we've had several great contributions of late from K Dog, one of our main contributors and Eddie another one and Surly another one uh, a lot of good stuff on the diner uh, as we close out our eighth year all right. Now I'm really done. Hasta la brunch. See you later, doomers.